I do research on nutrition and the brain. We have lots of community studies here at Rush where we have um, assessed people's diet and follow them over a long period of time and clinically evaluated them both for their cognitive abilities as well as the development of Alzheimer's disease. So our research allows us to look at nutrition as it relates to cognitive decline with aging as well as the development of Alzheimer's disease. We've found a lot of associations between various nutrients and the development of dementia. And this is backed by uh, laboratory and animal mo models that show biologic mechanisms of these various nutrients in the brain. There's also been some randomized clinical trials that have looked at the Mediterranean diet in relation to cognitive abilities, as well as the DASH diet, which was a diet that was developed to lower blood pressure and prevent hypertension. So in both um, randomized trials, the diets were uh, um, effective in increasing cognitive scores at the end of the uh, diet intervention. The nutrients in the food groups that have been looked at in relation to the brain have been done in countries all over the world. And there is some consistency for various nutrients and various food groups. Here at Rush, we took all of this research into account and came up with a diet that includes those foods and nutrients um, that have been shown to protect the brain. We call this the MIND diet, and recently we published two studies, one looking at cognitive decline and one looking at risk of developing Alzheimer's disease. And we related our MIND diet to um, these outcomes. And we found that people who had higher scores on the MIND diet had a 53% reduction in the risk of developing Alzheimer's disease, and they also had slower decline over um, up to 10 years of follow-up in our cohort studies here at Rush. The diet is very similar to the basic components of the DASH and Mediterranean diet in that they um, emphasize a plant-based diet and they are, um, also emphasize lower saturated fat and trans fats and um, uh, empty calories through sugars. In addition, we modified the basics of the Mediterranean and DASH diet to reflect the particular specific data on nutrition in the brain. For example, both the DASH and the Mediterranean diet recommend about four vegetable servings per day. In the dementia research world, we've found that green leafy vegetables in particular are protective for the brain. And so we specify in the MIND diet that green leafy vegetables should be consumed almost daily. Another difference, um, the literature on nutrition in the brain doesn't show that fruits as a general category is protective for the brain, but that berries in particular are. So the MIND diet specifies berries. So uh, there's all in all, there's 10 healthy food components that the MIND diet recommends. And then there's five um, food categories that the MIND diet recommends that you limit. Not exclude from your diet, but really limit. This is a very new diet. We um, have not um, examined its impact on weight. Very likely, however, the MIND diet, if one followed it, would probably uh, lose weight if, they, um, if their weight was not in balance. I say this because both the Mediterranean and the DASH diets, which are similar, have been shown to reduce weight. All of our studies here at Rush are in people who do not have dementia. So we, we take a group of people who are unimpaired 
and then we follow them over their life course to see who's more likely to get dementia and who's more likely to remain dementia free. And so the um, research on nutrition as it relates to dementia has been done in people who are initially cognitively unimpaired.